optimize solutions today. Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Ferrocorp Free Traders and, of course, to Stellaris, where we are currently at war. And in the last episode, Incoming we laid a claim to this system with the express intention of splitting this empire in two. Now, my hope is that this will affect their, um, their cohesion. Uh, I believe the, there we are, cohesion. Uh, empire cohesion is a measure of the overall cohesiveness of the territory controlled by our empire. It is increased for e each owned system and upgraded starbase and reduced by having a large number of external hyperlane connections and having isolated systems that we do not own inside our borders. If our cohesion loss is greater than our cohesion gain, our empire size will increase, potentially resulting in penalties. Now, from what I understand, the AI is not exactly the best at dealing with its empire size yet, though uh, recent uh, improvements to the AI in, in recent patches does seem to have gone to, uh, to some length to try and resolve that. Now then, you're actually isolated, aren't you? You're isolated. Uh, can you get up there and survey that system? You can. There is a route. Thank goodness we can do that. All right, our construction ship uh, down here is good to go uh, with uh, setting up all the mining stations and the like, and then eventually we'll roll you on over here, maybe. Oh, I'm still uncertain. I think we need to claim this, this whole area. Maybe we can keep our cohesiveness up by expanding out in that direction. It's, it's uncertain right now. We've got a p commercial pact invitation. Uh, I believe we want to go with this. We believe that the Ferrocorp Free Traders and the Lakja Kingdom have much to offer one another. Oh, well, that's fantastic. You're the one who wants to uh, set that one up. I am absolutely okay with you spending all that money on me. Yes. Perfect. Now, let's have a quick glance in here before we get back to the war. Oh, eight. We've got 59. What? That is a lot. That is an awful, awful lot. That is a crazy amount. I would very much like to do this, yes. Make it happen. Yes. And then immediately build something I can't afford, because I'm completely out of minerals at that point. Ah, there are downsides to spending on my minerals. Uh, but that is fantastic. We need more branch offices like that. We need to spread our tomorrow solutions all over the galaxy. But before then, we need to spread, spread some uh, war to certain parts of the galaxy. I mean, that, that's not especially a bright and shiny part of the, the whole Tomorrow Solutions, but unfortunately they are, they are denying our Tomorrow Solutions to their citizens, and thus we must, uh, we must mobilize. Data upgraded. Ooh, okay, let's have a look at you. Species modification complete. We've got alpha humans. Hooray! Hostile fleets are unfortunately present in this system, however. Uh, that is not so great. A research great. station built in orbit of a planetary body will gather its physics. Hmm. And, ah. Uh, let's just make sure that you're not going anywhere for now. How long on your, your healing? Are you relatively good? You seem to almost be good. We're just going to let you finish doing that. There we go. Right. Ahoido. I need you over there. Wipe out their feet, please. And then move back on through. You're going to get damaged again, and it does suck. But we'll also have a bit more uh, science there for us to assault. check out. Now, it all comes down to how fast Lahoido can move in. Lahoido's also being reinforced, which is always a good thing. Come on, Lahoido. Need you over here right about now. They're going to claim this system if you don't get in there soon. There we go. Are you going to be there close enough? No, they bailed. Well. All right. Very well. Got a level up there. We've got an insult from them. That's just rude. Uh, and we are going to send in our sh science ship immediately to perform a research project. And Lahoido, on the plus side, now does not need to deal with that. We can uh, jump over here. Now their Future market survey um, complete. fleet is not going to be nearby for a little while. That's actually quite, quite Colonial useful. Colonial enterprise established. Uh, let's have a look here. Fleet order finished. We have established the colony Zarellis in the Sismac system. Fantabulous. Truly. And we've got uh, Void Ferret moving in. Ah, not uh, Void Floof. Interesting. 
Uh, okay, well, that's fine. There's not much we can do there but to let you grow. Uh, and hopefully grow you will. What kind of plan is it? It's just a colony, a balanced settlement, and a bold new frontier. Well, let me just go and double check some things. Neath. Empire capital. Stability, amenities, governing ethics, attraction, and Blue Rose undertakings. A rural world. The nature of this planet's production dispenses with the need of major urban centers. Well, that's fine. Uh, so, this one seems to be completely balanced. I would like more um, agricultural districts if we could get them. Personally, I think that's going to be an important one. Uh, we could get rid of these, and we could do, even do that right away if I really wanted to. There's not much need to right now. Uh, and no, there's not much need to. So we'll we'll hang tight for now, I think. There's not, no particular reason to push that until we actually have a need for it. Oh, that was unfortunate. Okay, head on down. Search these out. They are expanding quite aggressively. Now, we don't want to be left behind. Uh, fleet order finished. Excellent. And technology researched. Wormhole travel. A naturally occurring subspace wormhole is a fickle thing, and its fluctuating energy levels typically make it impossible to travel safely between its linked apertures. There are ways to temporarily stabilize the, its matrix, however. Marvelous. New research, please. Now, we're going to get a lot of potential research that deals with particles because we have a scientist with that particular interest in mind here. Now, we could continue pushing laser research. Uh, furthermore, we could go for better power. That would be good. But the plasma thrower is quite nice. Massive armor damage. This one's just in favor of damaging armor rather than shields, but this one is particularly good because it does hull damage as well. I think we're going to go with the plasma throwers. Go ahead and, and research that for me, please. And right, how are we doing down here? Competitive We've station got engaged. a little fleet down here and a big old station there as well, which we don't exactly want to play with. Uh, we'll have to see. Go ahead. Do the research. We may have to just head on down, but that station there is strong research enough that it's actualized. a little bit of a concern for me. You've got star fortresses. These are mighty space forts will provide a focal point for all military activity in a star system, and their presence is sure to deter all but the most stubborn attackers. New research. We could get an L gate. Uh, ooh, that is very tempting. We could also get uh, advanced rail guns. We could get uh, cruisers and increase our fleet limit. We could get better armor, crystal fused plating. We could get living metal extraction. Uh, auto cannons, we could get so many different things. Uh, better engineering research. What is our engineering research at? It's actually lagging behind, but not by too much, I'll be honest. It's, it's not awful compared to the others. Uh, increase our mining stations, perhaps, but Elgate Insights. How many of those do we have right now? The Alcaster. We. I wouldn't mind getting it if we could. It's a lot, though. Hmm. Accessing the Elgate cluster would be very, very interesting. It's not something I've actually ever done. So there's a little part of me that wants to learn it myself. I... Yeah, we're going to go for that. Do we have anyone who's particularly good with spaceships? No. Is there anyone we can hire who is? No. Okay then, well, just crack on and, and do your best. Now, do we know where, where this one links to? We don't. I need to send a ship through there then to find out. Now, do we know what they're up to over here? Their fleet is heading Ships off. Upscaled. That's perfect. Let them go. Let them go. I don't know what... I'm going to let them go even further. I'm going to let them get two jumps away. And then we're going to jump in and clear this station out. If we can. Uh, Yukafin has been fully upgraded. Marvellous, Yukafin, you have finally arrived. Okay, it's time for you to start moving out and claiming land. Lahoido does need a little bit of uh, healing, honestly. The nearest station is over there. Um, yeah, one one of the ships is pretty, pretty beat up, actually. So I wouldn't mind getting that one uh, repaired. Right, you've done everything I need down there, and I don't believe there's any more for you to do, so head back to the nearest station where you can just dock up. 
As for our star fortresses. Well, now, this is the thing. We can now get <laughs> Xeno compatibility. <laughs> well, the invention of universal sexual biology has revolutionized society, even if sometimes requires awkward uh, rotations to make a connection. Immigration poll plus 33% allows crossbreeding between different species living on the same planet, granting a 20% bonus to pop growth speed on any owned planet with at least two different species. Additionally, crossbreeding will result in the creation of half species that take their portrait from one of the parent species but get a mix of traits. Plus one maximum trait point and plus one maximum traits. I mean, it's really tempting. Um... This one wouldn't be bad because it would it would boost our influence a fair chunk. Um, yeah, it would give us a, it would give us back 1.12 influence, which is quite a lot. But but Voidborn, I think it has to be Voidborn. We're gonna grab it. I have no idea what it's gonna be like to build habitats at this point, but let's have a look. It's probably gonna be ridiculous amounts. All right, a habitat, 5,000 alloys, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's what we're gonna do. That's why I took it. But we really need to buff our production, clearly. Clearly that is a ne necessity now then. Uh, with that fleet almost out, how far out is Detritus it now? Analyzed. Not too far away. Well done, faulty physics research. Very nice, in fact. Right, okay, so they're out from there. Time for us to take... Well, Lohoido's just going to uh, heal up, and then we're going to be sending it back down. Shouldn't take very long for Lohoido to survived. fully be repaired there. Okay. And Yukofin is engaging. Complete. Let's go and have a look. This shouldn't be a Future very big fight. Or at least I would hope not. There we go. It is ours. Right, do you need to heal anywhere? If so, please uh, go there and heal. And La Hoido, uh Shark Starbase has finished its construction queue. All of the anchorages. All of the time. And the naval logistics. We've now got a quite a large naval capacity. That is a beautiful, beautiful thing to see. Very beautiful thing to see. Let's actually see how that's changed anything. I mean, we're still we're still lacking in overall size of the fleets that we can have um, simply based on the amount of potential command points on each fleet but we can we can start thinking about padding out a third fleet now if we wanted to uh, that would be quite a nice thing to get right science ship could you return to the nearest star base where it's going to be reasonably safe for you well, actually return to my space well no no, as long as we've got our, our ships nearby, we should be fine. Uh, oh, they've brought their fleets back. Okay, hang tight for a moment. We may bring in Yukofin as well to uh, take this, uh, this base out. I think that might be a wise idea. We've got a fairly large fleet over there just moving into position. Where are you going then? You went down. Upscaling complete. All right, and where are you going next? Oh, they're going to probably try to uh, slip in behind. Very well. Very well. Let's Potential go and uh, head them completed. off. In that case, let's do what we can. Marvellous. Right. Research grant edict has expired. Now, that one's one we actually really want back. So, we're going to have to save up for that. But that is definitely one that we want back as soon as we can get. Pineapple is finished with their work down here. Marvellous. It's, uh, well, actually, no. Go straight up there and start surveying this area. And then survey downwards. Because, again, there's less chance that we'll lose out on that system if we search from their borders out rather than the other way around. Uh, we're all done up here. That's glorious to see. Can we get in there? No. That That is uh, closed to us. A bit of a shame. But we should be able... To head over here. Yes, let's, uh, let's head over there. And from here we'll be able to see the hyperlanes and then we'll be able to move out from there. That should work okay, I would hope. Uh, you haven't got long before you're at your desired location. Right, let's have a look at how this fight is going to go down. Lahoido is a fairly potent fleet. 
Uh, let's pause that just there for a moment. Fully repaired. Yeah, we'll get rid of those. Let me just double check my edict. Make sure that we are actually pushing as much into your weapon systems as we can. Yeah, shield boost, pleased. Let's get that going as well. There we are. That'll do. So your shields should have just been boosted a wee bit. Let's uh, slow things down so we can have a watch of this properly. There we go. Some big old lasers there. I mean, I've got to be honest, your stations do actually look quite lovely. Hopefully we, won't, we don't do too much damage and we can repair it. Uh, I, th I think that, that would, that would uh, be nice as some sort of resort station. We could send our executives for team building exercises. Yes, I think so. Uh, we're already chunking into their, their armor now, or rather their hull, so that should be fine. Let's have a look out and see where this fleet is. And what are they doing? They're trying to get back. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me too much at all. Our fleet is on its way. They're not going to get back in time. They've already lost this fight, I'm afraid. Or rather, not afraid. I'm pretty happy about it, if I'm perfectly honest. Right, there we go. This is now ours. The whole place Research here is ours. Actualized. Let's pause it there for a moment so that we can decide on our next move. We may be able to pull off a pincer maneuver. Now, where are you likely to be headed? You, you, it looks like you're trying to back out. All right. Interesting. You're going to run straight into our allies. I wouldn't be against that at all. But look how close our friction is. It's actually pretty rough. We're, we're suffering quite a lot of friction there. Uh, we've got an increased leader lifespan. Hooray! Regenerative hull tissue. Would be quite nice. But probably not something we're going to be grabbing anytime soon. Uh, plus one civic slot. Nice. Galactic administration. I wouldn't mind it. Um, system capital complex. Food processing facilities. Site of revitalization centers. I mean, the same sort of things we had before, but Honestly, I think we're going to need to go for this one. I do believe we may have someone. No, not there just yet. But we could, in fact, hire you. Purely so that you can help with the research. Let me just double check, though. How much research are you getting? What level are you? You're not actually that high of a level, I'll be honest. Um... Yeah, you're only getting an extra research speed of plus eight percent. So, yeah, we're gonna swap you out. We're gonna get a new scientist who can help that research along quickly. Right, this is Larg, son of Muri, who is in fact Caesar Kaiser. Uh, there we are. I'm actually not at all sure how to pronounce that. Uh, I know that sounds like such an obvious one, like, I'm, I just got this horrible feeling that I've always been mispronouncing it my entire life, and that is, that is just built up to this moment of absolute doubt. I would hate to imagine that I've always been mispronouncing that name. And yet, here we are. Uh, very well, you should be taking over. There we go. Now, we don't strictly have a job for, for our others right now. You can't really get back there. Okay, head on down. We'll hopefully catch them. Looks like they may be heading through to try and solidify this position. Yeah, it looks like we might be able to actually catch them. Ooh, Admiral gains trait. Following her recent sensor sweep of the Jarad system, Admiral Dixie has learned how to deploy her units to maximize their sensor range. Few fleet commanders possess the skill to carry out such complex maneuvers. Good. Very nice. Let's actually have a look at this then. Uh, Dixie. Uh, ship hyperlane detection range plus two. Sublight speed plus ten. Sensor range plus one. Let's have a look at that. Can we see anything more? I don't believe so, but uh, we'll see. Uh, we should be able to claim both of these systems relatively quickly. And if. Ooh, it looks like this is going to be a bit of a pitched battle. Uh, well, no, it isn't. We, we massively dominate. There is a nothing that can be done here. And your transports are now going to be wiped out as well. Such is the way of war. Potential market survey completed. Right. Okay, we've now got quite a lot there. When armies are ordered into space, they all... Right, I want to go and check Duke Station. Are we producing any more armies here? 
Fences. Oh, it'll actually be Neath, won't it? Yes. Neath is still producing armies. Still producing a few. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until we've got all of the, the armies that we want. Uh, for the time being, though, we have two unemployed people on Blue Rose Undertaker. No, no, no. We could upgrade you, but at that point, we would not be producing any volatile moats. Uh, that being said, actually, plus five metallurgist jobs. We need that. We we desperately need those alloys. So yeah, we're gonna upgrade those those forges actually. Uh, other than that, what else would we like? I mean, I've been wanting to get a corporate culture suite for a long time. Also, an energy grid so that we could afford to just buy more stuff. Honestly, as a megacorp, I feel that we should be. <laughs> I'm playing this megacorp as as a regular. Faction and, and that's completely the wrong way to play. I just need to be maximizing the amount of money and then just buying everything I want Or at least that's one way you can play it. So let's let's give that a shot. Let's give that a try. Shall we? Uh, right, okay yeah, Things are not going too terribly in the war, but I do want to get out there and start claiming those systems as soon as we can Okay, and Rivalry declared Wasari Commerce Guild a rival Very well. uh, We've got this place that is now ours Okay, I want you to head back. Um, Lahoido, do you need any repairs? Uh, Yukafin needs repairs, actually. Head back for repairs, Yukafin. Lahoido seems to already be repairing, which is glorious. Uh, we want our science ship to move in and research all of these projects. Now, that was one of their big areas. Ooh. We have received a communique from a previous Elenian node sparing empire that call themselves the State of Ganlaravia. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on the communications of another empire we are in contact with. I speak on behalf of the State of Ganlaravia, and I bring you greetings. Our great leader, Executor Duke, oh, what a fantastic name, is very pleased to have made contact with your unique species, and we look forward to an exchange of culture and ideas. Oh, this is marvellous. I like this. I like this. Uh, we could learn much from each other. Uh, no, cooperation will surely benefit us all. What a lovely, lovely sounding empire, and what a what a proud name their, their leader has. I approve. Right, so I'm no idea where their Fine actual fleets are right now. Request contact. Oh, okay. Uh, communication established after successfully translating their language. We've established communications with the Confederation of Aramis. Uh, we've encountered some form of alien vessels in the Ripgar system. These uh, Confederation of Aramis. Okay, very well. Excellent. I represent the Confederation of Aramis. Our elected leader, Commissary General Kluthar Kurvagath, hopes for peaceful relations with your people. But know that we are more than capable of defending our way of life. I'm sure you are. Oh, I, I no. No. I won't be not, not tugging on that. that. Outstar did that to my beard when we met in TwitchCon. Ah, that, that naughty outstar. Uh, I refuse to do this to another species. Uh, okay, so. Uh, light. Lahido, once you're fully repaired, we'll march you out to do a little bit more Potential scouting. Right. So we have now discovered all of their land. We can't get over there. Can I get through you at all? No. Can I get over there at all? I can get there. Certainly, let's go. Let's try and get close, at least. Uh, right, Spring Critter, you arrived at your destination. Oh, how I wish. But it costs so much. It would cost so much. I'm not even sure we'd be able to trade it back. That's the thing. But I believe that these resources would be ours. It's just getting it all the way back to our, our space would be difficult. Any trade value, that is. Previously, it wouldn't have been so bad. I, I I need to go into wars against my rivals and just get their attention a bit. Um, okay, well that's that's way too far out. What about over here? What would it, what would it be there? Yeah, it's only ninety three. We could claim this Gaia world at the least, but I want the living metal. But having you just sat out there doesn't really serve me any purpose unless I can get the influence quickly. I I'm going to let you sit there for now in hopes that we can actually get 
everything together for that. We'll have to see. How's Neath doing? This is still taking a while. Uh, all alloy mega forges are almost done. We've got Ladakh Kingdoms entered in research agreement. Okay. You know what? Perhaps. This is generating a little bit of uh, research, I believe. Not a lot, but enough. All right, we've got one scientist who's not doing any work. So how about we get them a new ship and then get them to do some work? We need a new science ship. Science is how we're going to rule this this galaxy. Knowledge is power, etc., etc. Uh, right. Okay, Yuka Finn, need you over here. I need you to be bombarding this planet. Oh no, they're bombarding the planet. That's not good. And that's the one I want. Oh, that's awful. I hope you're not sending any... Uh... Oh, you are. Well, that is not exactly what I want to see. How many more arms have you got going? Okay, cancel these. Let that one finish and then get the entire force up there as soon as I can. Uh, okay, thank you very much. The, these armies on their way. The agreement we signed, giving you access to our data banks, has run its course. Would you like to extend it for another 10 standard years? Or do your research is no longer... Oh, no, no, we definitely like to extend it. Please and thank you. All right. Let's pause that there. We need our armies on the way. Go, go, go. Get up there right now. Hopefully your armies run into something between us and... Uh, uh, between uh, where you are right now and this planet, ideally an enemy fleet that scares you. That would that would be the ideal the situation. Analyzed. Good, good, good. All right, let's have a look. Got the plasma thrower. Now then, we could upgrade the energy nexus. That would be nice. We could also get improved deflectors. And you know what? We've been hanging around on that for so long, but I kind of feel we should. All right, let's get improved deflectors, and then we can upgrade all of our ships a little bit further. Mission complete. And we've Research got a level. Actualized. Marvelous. Right, what have we got? There we go. Improved deflectors. Didn't take us long. Hyperdrive 3. A new generation hyperdrive. Uh, that might be nice. Jump charge time is reduced significantly. Disruptors, which are just go through shields Research and armor. Actualized. I wouldn't mind it. Let's go for that. And and now we also have Ceramo Metal Armor. Marvelous. Uh, we're still working on Elgate Secrets for another 39 months. It's going to be a while. Uh, but there we are. That's not bad at all, actually. Not bad at all. Hasval, you have done all of the researching that you can, so go ahead and retreat for now. Uh, we have also got our new ship. So, let's get Sandman in there. This shall be the FC Sticker Snaps. If I can spell. Okay. I would like you to be over here providing some assisted research, please. That would be great. Thank you. All right. Mahido, let's start moving out. Let's just grab a couple of their stations if we can. Continue to cause them a bit of trouble. If we encounter another fleet, that'll be good. It'll give us an opportunity to research more, but I'm not too concerned about them. They are moving their, their transport fleets over here. But our transport fleets seem to be making pretty solid progress, much faster than theirs. Do we have any idea of where they're Future going? Market survey complete. 22 army strength there. What about ours? 338. Okay, I can't imagine they're actually going to try and take this planet like that. Though. Market outlier identified. Okay. Anomaly. Scanning the star unveils a small object in rapid orbit. Its small size and high velocity make it difficult for our sensors to isolate. Go ahead. Let's find out where this one goes. I I, I always like this one, but um, it's a bit of a... You're flipping a coin, really, on it, whether it's going to be good or not. Uh, right, we've got more migration happening. That's always good to see. All right, planet devastation. Effects on the planet from devastation. Housing, minus 31%. Amenities, minus 31%. Trade value, minus 31%. Resources from jobs. Upkeep from jobs, minus 31%. Uh, pop growth reduction, immigration pull. 
the army is pretty, pretty heavily messed up. Orbital bombardment inflicts 0.11% devastation on the planet each day. Indiscriminate bombardment targets military and planetary infrastructure with no regard for civilian casualties. Ooh, nasty. Very nasty. I mean, I was hoping that my, uh, my fleet could actually be taking part in this, but not if it's going to be that kind of bombardment, frankly. That's not what we signed up for, not even slightly. Uh, fleet combat. Okay, we should be able to claim that one without any issue whatsoever. Right, if you would, please, head up there, Market head on, and we'll see what this one is going to be like in a moment. Some kind of unknown structures are floating in this gas giant's something or other. Uh, upper atmosphere. They appear to be using aerostatic lift to remain buoyant. Research it. The probability conundrum. We have gotten a report from scientist officer Natasha. It seems that a ceramic container is circling the star Pulkor. Most peculiar. It should obviously not be there, yet somehow it has managed to find its way into a close orbit. A special project can be issued to investigate the container and try to deduce how it ended up here. I mean, I can't be... Ooh. Honestly, I kind of want the influence, but I I just really like this one because it's silly. So we're going to we're gonna take care of that one. Come on then, you. No, no, no. Go back there. Research that one first. Please and thank you. Right, uh, armies are almost here, I would imagine. Let me uh, zoom out a little bit. Yeah, they're fairly close now. They should be there soon. And uh, the war is going reasonably well, I, I've got to be honest. They're doing quite well overall. They really can't stand up against this, let's be honest. Aerostat colonies. A ruined network of aerostat colonies dating back at least three millennia can be found in low orbit on this gas giant. Their original function appears to have been gas mining, but they have since been abandoned and are re reoccupied by many different races and pirate groups. The colonies have been thoroughly stripped of anything even remotely valuable, but the mere fact that they are still afloat after all this time makes them an interesting subject for engineering research. Good well. Alright, how are you doing overall? I mean, you've got a couple of ships that have lost their armor. Is there anywhere nearby you could heal? Hmm. What is this? Uh, actually, that station doesn't look like it's really going to be able to threaten you, so head in there before you go to, to heal. Right. Uh, troops are almost there. Now, when our armies are in space, they automatically embark in these transport ships. Marvelous. 50 days until we uh, arrive. Complete. That is perfect. Uh, edict expired. Diplomatic grants. That's all right. I don't really much care for it. One that I am going to put back there, though. It is going to be research grants. I, I want research grants to always be active. There we go. All right, then. I need you to be over here. And frankly, I think we're going to land the armies. Now, I have no idea how this is going to look. No idea. Has this been adding any kind of devastation or anything like that? No. No, it has not. Okay, well, let's have a look at the population. I doubt they're very happy with what's going on, but, uh, oh, that's the way it's going to be, I'm afraid. Now, let's get in there and see how this goes. Now, I've not seen Future this for a little while, uh, and not at all in Megacorp. The barren lifeless world is showing signs of once having supported a biosphere. Go ahead and research it. That's fine. A migration treaty broken. Oh. This experiment has gone on long enough. Our migration treaty has turned out to be a serious mistake and will be cancelled with immediate effect. Oh. Well, that's not very nice of you, but uh, okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to have a look at that and make sure that we're still on friendly terms. Uh, where is the Hifnar League? Ooh. Allied to rivals. With whom are you rivaled? Hmm. Ah. That's caused me a bit of issue. Caused me quite a lot of issue, actually. I don't like that at all. Hmm. I might have to see about that one, but... Commencing okay. seizure of planetary asset. Oh. We've successfully invaded... Oh, that was fantastically swift. Okay. Did I not get to see... Ah. Oh. Wow. That was super... And... Wow. Okay. Um, well, I guess we've claimed it then. It's now mine. Uh, what well, for now? 
Is that really all all that was required? It's occupied by the Farrakorp free traders. Well, hopefully, then we get to keep it. Uh, we'll see how that goes, though. Right, that has added quite a lot to the... Oh, there we go. A new faction has recently been gaining traction in the internal political landscape of the Farrakhan Free Traders, led by Governor McBride. They call themselves Neutrality Council. Their members are advocating for closed borders and non-interference with galactic affairs. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. As our I'll empire be grows, new colonies will automatically be organized into sectors. Ooh, our first sectors sector. Sectors can be managed from the planets and sectors screen to automatically build and upgrade districts and buildings using assigned pools of minerals and energy. Marvellous. We're going to have to have a look into this. Right, Lahoidu. Head on back to the nearest port to repair. Okay, well, I guess that all worked well. Low stability. At least one of your plans is low stability. Yeah, I can, I can see that one coming, I guess. All right, that can go. That can go. There we go. Uh, I have taken one planet. And uh, actually, you got one planet as well. And we took over two systems in total. And that's it. So how did they... What did they get? Uh, there. They managed to claim this. And we have split their empire. And also shrunk it down a little bit. Well, that's quite good. Because I would imagine that it's going to bring them a little bit closer to me being able to claim them, I guess. To enforce the, that they be our, our vassals in some regard. The only place left for any of our science ship really is over there. I don't think that's going to be happening. So it's time for you to return, I would say. We're going to need more more ships to... Uh, oh, no, I, I want you to come back. So actually head down there, please. Mad Cat, you can totally not go there. But you can go over here. Uh, actually, no, go there first, since that's a little bit more likely to be expanded into. And then check out this one as well. Okay, well, you did a pretty pretty stellar job there, mate. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, go ahead. Well, actually, I guess you can come up here and, and help with the research here. I don't know if it's going to really help. Uh, but it's something for you to do. Right. Okay, well, let's first have a look at Neath. Neath has potential expansion slot. Uh, what would we what would we like? I'm not liking that at all. Civilian industries. We've already got some civilian industries. I'd rather just upgrade those, but that might take some time. More research lands would, of course, be very very welcomed. We're not producing any exotic gases, so sure we're gonna get some more exotic gases then. An exotic gas refinery can go up. That should be able to help us out a little bit. And there we go. Have we got the Ugrim sector? I don't think it was going to be called the Ugrim sector, though. Uh, have we even got that? Where is the Ugrim sector? Let's bring up our sectors map. Oh, really? What? We've got... Three se no, that can't possibly be right. Uh, no, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I guess this is all part of one sector then. Okay, well, let's have a quick look at that then. Can we bring up sectors or anything like that? Well, actually, before we do that, let's check on you. Stalwart defense. It's not going to happen. It's really not. That is absolutely not going to be a faction that we, that we indulge in any serious capacity. Uh, oh, Ugrim was the planet. Oh, no. I guess it is called the Ugrim sector. Very well. All right, well, let's have a quick look. We're going to need a governor here. So, can we not assign a governor? Hmm. Governors can that... be assigned to administer. Okay, well, that's what I'm trying to do, though. Oh, yes, Gallywag, you. Why is this planet not showing up for me? It's another rural world. Uh, perhaps it's just because it's... Yeah, it's got zero s stability. Okay. Uh, let's have a look then. Harmony traditions, overcrowding, minus 10% prop approval rating. 
Resource for jobs are all done. Emigration push. It's basically losing people pretty heavily. Decisions then. Declare martial law. Increases the ability and adds more soldiers. Reduce job resources. I mean, it might be worth it for now. Uh, launch anti-crime campaign. Anti-crime campaign added, giving the following effects. Enforce a crime reduction, plus 10. Enforce apathy, plus 2. Negotiate with crime lords. Crime lord deal modifier added, giving the following effects. Stability, plus 10. Crime, plus 50%. I don't think that's happening. Martial law. Let's try and get the stability up here. Uh, for the time being, you can simply head on back. We don't even need a general, frankly. Not right now, anyway. Uh, you can head back as well. In fact, you can go and up be upgraded at the nearest uh, opportunity. La Hido should probably do much the same. Where is La Hido headed right now? Actually, no, no. La Hido head over here and then upgrade, if you would be so kind. That would be very, very warmly welcomed. But, wow, look at that. That is painful. Our detailed survey of Galpan 3 has revealed that it may once have supported life in the distant past. There are significant deposits of frozen water at the polar ice caps and beneath the planet's surface. The existence of valley networks suggests that the water may once have flowed freely. Terraforming this planet would theoretically be possible, but we do not yet possess the technology. Eh, that's fascinating. Through hard work and experience, experience scientist Alex C has developed new skills. What skills are they? Uh, maniacal. Okay. Non-aggression pact broken. Okay, it looks like they're making some uh, new enemies. Interesting. Uh, there we are. Stability slowly improving. Let's let's just have a look at this then. Uh, how many traditions finished? Plus five from pop jobs. Plus ten overcrowding. Minus twenty. It's definitely not going well. Perhaps I could also add the decision of. Launch an anti-crime campaign. I mean, do we have any enforcers on this planet? We might do. I think they would be... Yes, we've got one enforcer. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll launch that one as well. Pull down the crime rate aggressively. Alright, we'll, we'll slowly see how this, this comes back together. Hopefully, this stability does rise reasonably quickly. But uh, right now, I'm not entirely certain about that. Uh, people are going to be leaving the Empire here and there. And that's that's completely fine. But uh, we need to keep an eye on this one. Though, before we do anything else, we need to rename this world. Uh, let's go for Weird Alchemist. And with a name like that, we're going to have to get lots of very, very weird things here. Uh, have we just got not enough jobs for them? No, we've got plenty of jobs if people don't want to work them. Well, you don't want to work them specifically. It's going to take a little while. I really would like to assign a governor, though. I'm assuming that's because we've got such a terrible stability. That's the only thing I can imagine. Uh, let's have a look. Plants and sectors. Can I assign the governor here? Oh, apparently I can. Okay. Well, let's recruit a new governor. Leader cost, leader upkeep, that's not what we need. Building cost, district, plant build speed. Crime minus 25%. Yes. Let's uh, take a you. You shall be a governor, Stephanie. There we go. That should help out Our new a little bit. Governor has assumed office on the sector's capital wall. Hooray! Well done. Which is, of course, here. This is the uh, Weird Alchemist is the uh, the capital world here. Crime is dropping. Okay, prosperity starting to get better. Little by little. I could improve that, but there's not really much point right now, I would say. When's the next... Unity. 16 months. That's not actually far away. But oh my lord, we are so, so very far over our admin, admin camp. Okay, we're going to need to try and resolve that as soon as we can. That's going to be painful until we can sort that out. How about down here? How's everything going over here? Seems that everything's going quite quite swimmingly down, down in this direction, which is lovely to see. Uh, there we are, we've finished 
that upgrade. Let's go and have a look at how our ships look now. Well, you know, it's, it's all right, I guess. Uh, right, well, while all that's going on, let's have a look over here. We've really not got the minerals to do much, but we um, could always build. Well, let's see, we could gain more unity. We could produce more consumer goods. We could just gain more minerals, frankly, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. We could just generate more money. Hmm. But this one is particularly nice. I think we're going to get a commercial forum. This is one of the best places that we've been. Let's go ahead and get a commercial forum. We'll see how that builds up. Hopefully it builds up quite, quite aggressively. But for now, that seems to be all we're going to need to do there. Faction founded. Uh, the peace and order movement. The members have been pushing hard for, for an extreme centralization of political and military power. Uh, okay, let's go and have a look at that. You. Peace and order movement. Anti-ocratic, free movement, reproductive freemans, anti-stratification. Letting any desert of, of our empire live in a stratified economy will greatly displease the freedom group. Uh, that's the wrong one. Uh, autocracy. Anti-democratic. Okay, stratified society. Ensuring a stratified society, be it through stratified economy, slavery, or even purging, will please the peace and order movement. Hmm. I don't think we're going to be being friends with you, I'll be honest. The board is opened. Okay. We no longer see any reason to keep you locked out of our territory. Our borders are open to you again. Uh, very well. It's reasonably, reasonably nice of you. Uh, still... We've got so much stuff happening right now. Right, armies you can close down for a little bit, and factions you can close down for a while too. I don't necessarily need to see that. I don't know why we can't see the planet there. Uh, regardless though, it's a little bit frustrating. Uh, right, what's up here? Starbase is not connected to the trade network. Really? Why ever not? Ah, of course. We've got an anchorage here. And crew quarter. I mean, the crew quarter isn't too bad, but we've got a crew quarter just down here, I believe. Oh, no, we don't. Hmm. Maybe we should get one. But, I'm thinking that this starbase needs to be repurposed. First and foremost, Research I am going to want a trade hub. Secondly, I am going to want to replace this with... I wouldn't mind the crew quarters, honestly. Off-world trading company would be kind of nice, but I don't think we really need it. Um, a system actually, has been surveyed. maybe we don't need it at all. Maybe we could just leave that as is. Upscaling complete. Doesn't seem that necessary right now. Okay, so what are we going to look into next then? Unlocks auxiliary fire control. Chance to hit plus five. It's quite nice. The energy nexus would be especially nice right now. And that'll only take 6,888. Uh, mind you, we could increase our science, re our physics research by another 20%. That's quite, quite uh, attractive. But I think we're going to go with Energy Nexus. And do we have anyone who is a scientist of that particular type? No, we don't. Oh, well. I don't want to get another leader right now. Our, our admin cap is, is hurting a little bit. So... Uh, Right, uh, we could form a commercial pact with you. And we could even form a research agreement, but I don't necessarily think that would that would benefit me. Uh, we'd get nothing from this deal. So there's no particular reason to set that up. I could declare rivalry with you. You've closed your borders with practically everyone. Um, hmm. You know what? No, I'm not, I'm not going to be mean to you. No, I, I want I want to have future future uh, tomorrow solutions traded with you if at all possible. Let's see if you want anything that I can provide. Actually, what can you provide? Have you got many energy credits? Oh, you really don't. Well, actually, until I give you consumer goods, I won't be able to see that. Uh, no, 
Uh, minerals, have you got many of those? Nope. I don't think you've really got much of anything right now. So you're probably not going to be a good one to uh, trade with at all. Except us minus one. Hmm. We can offer them to become our subsidiary. If they accept, they will. we will protect them, but they will have to pay us 25% of their energy income and join us in our wars. Well, I mean, that wouldn't be a bad one. I wouldn't mind a little subsidiary. It's just got a little tiny planet. Let's have a little peek. What is your little world? Three pops. You're very new. I think you may have been... Ah, yes. You were, you were a, a, a species that only recently gained... Um, you joined the galactic stage. You were originally a pre-space uh, species, so... Hmm... All right, sure. Let's let's get a subsidiary. Offer a trade deal. I'm gonna give you maybe minerals. I can probably give you anything right now, and you'd be happy with it. Actually, no, don't give you minerals. I, I'm going enough. Uh, energy credits then. I'll give you 200. Confirm. There you go. We'll grease the wheels. That should go through quite quickly. There we are. Get all of that done, and then following with that, I'll talk to you again. Uh, subsidiary status still acceptance minus one. doesn't seem that uh, our positive trades have affected anything. Really? Well, I guess I could open a commercial pact and then let that uh, hopefully push the acceptance up. New faction has recently been gaining traction in the internal political landscape. Strength through conquest coalition. Wow, what a name. The members have been pushing hard for us to assert our military dominance over the rest of the galaxy. I mean... Maybe. It's certainly a possibility. Still minus one. Hmm. Distance minus 50. Empire population minus one. Base 50. Relative empire power. I guess I'm just going to have to wait a little bit and maybe take that. But for now... Sure, I'm going to let you, you build up. And we'll see if I can, I can claim... <laughs> sooner or later and their tiny little place I wouldn't mind mind protecting them and nurturing the the tiny little empires next to us I think that makes a lot of sense we must nurture our customer base so that one day they can be big and strong and have lots of spending power uh, right we've got someone who's unemployed Ooh, yet again how you, you keep having unemployed people I do not know but uh, here we are wouldn't mind some minerals right now, or food, frankly. Desperately need both. Alright, I'm going to have to buy some on the market then. We just straight up need minerals. I'll spend 1,200 to buy 1,000 minerals. There we go. Uh, we straight up need food, too. I'll spend 600 to get 500 food. There we go. Right. I think at the moment... The most important thing for me is probably food, because without that, people die. So let's build you up for now. But we are going to need to try and deal with that. That That is really quite painful. And it is largely because of this, this planet here. The stability is awful. Absolutely awful. Resources from jobs, minus 26. Once it's the stability has risen a bit, then then things will start getting a little bit better. But it's going to take us a good little while for that to happen. Um, there's no point in clearing any of this out. And we're actually starting to grow some humans over here. That's interesting. Um, but they don't seem to have a governor. That's most curious. It honestly, I don't quite get why that's so difficult to achieve. 
At any rate, hopefully we'll be able to uh, bring this world properly into our control and we'll, we'll see how things go from there. But that's going to be it for this episode. I'm afraid we have run out of time. I hope you are enjoying and are looking forward to the continuation of the series. Do let me know down in the comments below if you are interested in having your name added to the name list for any future leaders and or ships and or possibly planets that might pop up considering that we are expanding a little bit more aggressive than we have to, done up to now. There's a good chance that a planet it will be named after some people but that's it from me so until next time and as always do take care everyone